2019 Toyota Supra prototype. They say good things come to those who wait, and lord knows they've kept us waiting with the new Toyota Supra. The last one, synonymous with the fast and the furious, Japanese JGTC Racing, now Super GT, and Gran Turismo, launched a full quarter of a century ago. Since then there have been false starts, concept cars, whispers on the wind and, thanks to the car's fanbase and epic tuning potential, the systematic modification of almost every AATMK4 on the face of the planet, you try finding a standard one. For years, decades in fact, Toyota has had little time for sports cars, preferring instead to focus on hybrids, fat margins, fiendish production efficiencies and to chase the status of global sales numero uno. But the latest chief Akio Toyota has rung the changes, Toyota's back in sports cars and in 2019 you'll be able to buy the new Supra you see here in our early review. We'll see undisguised cars in January, first customers will also get their cars in 2019, and with cute camo graphics intact we have now driven the car in a representative form, in much the same spec as the car that tore up the hill at the Goodwood Festival of Speed, in fact. And you'll be pleased to hear you may now continue to get very excited about what is a very exciting car, a £50,000 Porsche Cayman S. Alpine A110 rival powered by a turbocharged straight 6 motor and engineered by the man who brought you GT86. New Supra is a front engine, rear drive, 350 bhp ish. Final performance figures are yet to be confirmed sports car with a powertrain of BMW hardware turbocharged straight six engine, eight speed paddle shift auto and an active differential, an e-motor wind the diffs ratio up and down via a reduction gear. Both BMW and Toyota initially considered a mid-engined platform, and got quite excited, but subsequently plumped for the more classical layout. The Supra and new Z4 share a basic platform tuned pretty comprehensively in markedly different directions. The Toyota as a Porsche killer, according to chief engineer Tetsuya Tada. The Supra takes advantage of BMW's adaptive suspension hardware, calibrated to its own ends to give the car band width and to combat the choppy body movement short wheelbase cars can suffer on rough roads. This shouldn't be surprising for several reasons. One, GR Kingpin Tetsuya Tada is a fine engineer and an incurable enthusiast, the man who delivered the deliciously malleable GT86 and who's already getting frothy about a faster, more hardcore GRMN Supra and a Supra-based GT LM Racer World Endurance Racer. 2. The powertrain is a peach, smooth, soulful and spectacularly capable, blending ultra-quick, flawless shifts with an engine that can do it all, from easy motorway flying to high-rev hooliganism and 3, all the engineering fundamentals are right, from a steel body stiffer even than the carbon fiber LFAs, through a 50 hours 50 minutes weight distribution to a center of gravity lower even than that of the boxer engine GT86. On the road you're struck first by the engine's awesome turn of speed. Picking off trucks and slower cars is child's play, the Supra sprinting by whenever the opportunity emerges thanks to the 6's strong torque and, should the need to hurry arise, urgent top end. Toyota's being vague on output but the Supra feels every bit as quick as the 335 bhp, 1545 kg, BMW M240i, if not quicker. Meanwhile the ride quality is admirably pliant in normal mode, the car offsetting its stiffly side-walled Michelins with relatively small rims, 19 inches front and rear, that rigid structure and the sensible spring rates a low center of gravity allows a car to use. Despite all Toyota's talk of this being an out-and-out -out sports car, it hasn't dropped the everyday driver ball, either, you could put in hours in this thing, should you be so lucky.